Hey there, it's Sam. I'm making this update for this week of October 20th. A lot of things moving, changing um, this week, including a solar eclipse, um, which I'll do a separate video for. But I wanted to talk about a few of the things that have changed uh, since last week. We had quite a few planets move, change direction, or actually change signs, um, and we're seeing a shift away from some of the major themes um, of last week. Uh, for instance, you know, as, as we're close to this eclipse, this eclipse um, has Rahu, the North Node, in Virgo. We recently had Venus, which is debilitated in Virgo, also the Sun, um, also in Virgo. So there was Rahu, Venus, and the Sun in Virgo, and that has now shifted um, because Venus and the Sun have gone into Libra. Uh, we also had Mercury was retrograde in Libra. Libra has now, I'm sorry, Mercury has now gone into Virgo. So these things changed. The other planet that changed is Mars, left Scorpio and went into Sagittarius. Uh, so I want to talk about an important quality of this shift. One of the things to look for when you are when when I look at overall themes and trends is principles that get affirmed or you know strengthened or weakened. One of the most important principles is the principle of the gunas, the three gunas. And that's Thomas Rogers and Sattva. The planets uh, sorry, the signs and the planets have a guna that they rule and that applies to them. We've had a big shift away from the Tomasic guna the last few days into the sattvic and the rajasic, in particular the rajasic guna, because Virgo and Scorpio are both tamasic signs. And we had Mars and Scorpio, which is a tamasic planet in a tamasic sign that he rules, and then we also had Venus debilitated in a tamasic sign, and the sun also weak in a Tomasic sign of Virgo joined Rahu, which is also Tomasic. So all of that shifted. All of those things changed. And Mars went from Tomasic Scorpio into Sattvic Sagittarius. And Venus and the sun went from Tomasic Virgo joined Tomasic Rahu and moved into Rajasic Libra. Now, the way to really understand the Gunas is that Tomas is about body and the self and the pr preservation of survival, basically. It's to survive. Tamas' is form and structure, and that mostly, mostly refers to our physical body. Tamas isn't bad. The, n neither of the gunas are bad. What happens is, because we usually study the gunas through yoga and whatnot, we say, okay, Tamas is the bad one, Sattva is the good one. All of them are necessary and appropriate appropriate and we are supposed to use each one like one-third of our worldly life. And you say, well, how can I use the tamasic guna one-third of my life? Well, when you sleep. Sleeping is tamasic. Your body needs to rest. Your body needs to stop. Your body needs to lay still like a, like a big lump eight hours a day. One-third of your life is tamasic and it's supposed to be because you need to sleep, for instance. But Sleeping as a function of evolving consciousness or as a function of evolution is, is a hindrance. So there are, are mental and emotional states when they become tamasic because mental and emotional states are the realm of rajas and spiritual states are the realm of sattva. So when they become tamasic, they create inertia and ignorance, darkness, pain, suffering, fear, and anger and confusion are the three realms of Tamas. And so we had a lot of Tamasic energy last week. This is why we saw this hysteria around the Ebola outbreak, for instance. Um, of course, it's a serious threat in Africa where they don't have good health care practices. But in the U.S., there, was really, there really isn't any reason to panic because we know how to isolate those kind of pathogens that need to interact with bodily fluids and whatnot. But there was this hysteria and fear around it last week when we had debilitated Venus in Tomasic Virgo joined Rahu, which is confusion. 
and the Sun debilitated join Tomasic Rahu in Virgo. Again, Virgo is about all the details and making sure we don't overlook one of the details that could be dangerous and kill us. That's actually what Virgo is, where we need to pay attention to detail because some details might kill us. That's why Virgo is very much about health routines and regimens and whatnot. So there was like a kind of paranoid party happening in Virgo. This is kind of the case with Rahu and Virgo anyway for the next year and a half. But when you get it, joined a debilitated planet, Venus, and also the Sun, which was very close to its very low, what's called Uchabala, which means it's very far away from its exaltation point, and it's very close to its debilitation point, you're going to get a sort of nightmare of Tomasic energy. Now, Mars was in Scorpio, bringing a lot of healthy Tomas, which means we were very much marshaled against making sure this thing doesn't break out. And that's what Mars is supposed to do. Mars is a Tomasic planet, and Scorpio is where Mars operates to protect us from emotional vulnerability and strengthen that emotional vulnerability and fear. And as soon as we thought, uh-oh, there might be an outbreak, Mars and Scorpio got busy and made sure to kill the threat. Now Mars has moved into Sattvic Sagittarius, where he is now more aligned with defending the truth, defending principle, defending righteousness, rather than maybe on the verge of being a little bit paranoid about defending something like an outbreak. Um, and again, we also see that Venus and the Sun have also moved into Rajasic Libra, which is more about enjoyment, happiness, pleasure. There's been a big shift more toward a softer, more relational energy as uh, the last couple of days, um, especially now that Venus has gone into Libra. Um, and it's, so Libra now has Venus the ruler and exalted Saturn, but it also has a debilitated sun. So again, the reason the sun is debilitated in Libra is because the sun is our powerful individuality, and that gets filtered down in the sign of Libra, which is about compromising with others, not asserting our individual power. So the sun is debilitated right now, and this eclipse is going to have a debilitated sun. As I said, I'm going to talk about the eclipse, which is going to happen on early morning of the 23rd. I'll do a separate video on that. But, you know, right now we may be feeling our individuality being kind of low. There might be some, you know, um, lack of confidence coming up. Even things like you know, low digestive fire. This is something that happens when the sun goes into Libra, especially now that it's also joined Saturn. But this can be a good opportunity for you to really, you know, look into your relationships, you know, more, compromise more, reach out and, um, you know, be comforted and um, find joy and happiness with others, especially while Venus goes through Libra. It's a, it's a good time for that. Um, and it's good because Saturn is almost gone from Libra, so all of the heavy relationship lessons of the last couple years are starting to wane now. Um, and by the time Venus completes the transit through Libra, Saturn will actually be out of Libra. So that's a good thing. And like I said, we've seen this shift away from this hypervigilant, um, you know, sort of alarmed state where we're worried and feeling on guard, you know, especially with also having Mars and Scorpio um, to now move that sense of courage and strength into things that are more inspiring. You know, Mars going through Sagittarius is great for things like, you know, Hatha Yoga and authentic spiritual practices, activities and actions aligned with our teachings and our higher purpose. So Mars moving from Tomasic Scorpio into Sat.